I'm nervous. I'm like yeah. really nervous yeah. for this ownership town hall. I'm excited. I've, I'm nervous. Why? Because I'm, I mean, I'm gonna have to speak. I I'm mean, not, we are part owners. I don't feel like I'm super prepared, but I, you know, I started working on a yeah. speech earlier today, so. Yeah, they might expect you to speak. I'm, well, I'm ready to speak. I feel like Rick and Gabe are probably gonna do pretty well, but something tells me they're just not as funny as I am. Yeah, you're probably right. We'll see. a team owner like me would have to go through security. I feel like I'm too big time for that, but that's okay. I'm getting more and more nervous with every step. I knew Rick and Gabe would get most of the stage time, so I just patiently waited and waited for my introduction, and then it just ended. Once again, Rick Schnall and Gabe Plot. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for all of you for being here as well. They didn't ask me to speak. I didn't. What? what was that? What was that? The Hornets players also had a poor result, earning a loss against the Nets despite my many attempts to throw Ben Simmons off of his game. Bridges comes up with a steal. Look, two it's Joel Embiid! Is, is that the a shot in the pocket or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> a tough night for us there, huh? I'm in a bad mood. At least uh, the rookie, Brandon Miller, looks really, really good. Yes, he does. But and I'm uh, excited about that. I mean, but we need to play some defense. I thought they should have me speak for the ownership group, well, considering my stake, but... That would have been nice as well. I'm also the guy that uh, was a little bit disappointed when we drafted Brandon Miller, mm -hmm. so... With the second pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Brandon Miller from the University of Alabama. Brandon Miller. We weren't necessarily super excited at first, but we are excited. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And, uh, I might have. Uh, I might have had. I might have had him wrong because he's way out playing Scoot so far. So, babe, if you were to address the Charlotte fan base now, what would you say? Oh, so now's my opportunity. I guess it is. Okay. Well, I would have. I would have started with. Good evening, Hornets fans. My name is Ryan, a.k.a. Aaron Boy. I am for the Charlotte Hornets what Drake is for the Toronto Raptors. Hang on, you can't see the Hornets poster all that well. There we go. That's better. I will start by saying we expect to win this season with the return of Miles Bridges. He will strike fear in our opponent the same way he strikes off the court. That being said, we do not intend to win the midseason tournament. We care about the NBA Finals. No one cares about the midseason tournament. Adam Silver, if you don't like that, I don't care. You look like the cartoon worm that comes out of an apple. Also, I have a YouTube channel, Welty. Please subscribe. I have LaMelo Ball rookie cards. For everyone who subscribes, you, now you won't get one from me, 
uh, but you can tweet LaMelo Ball and ask him for one, and uh, hopefully he will, uh, but no promises, but that's only if you subscribe. Last but not least, of course, I will address the elephant in the room. Uh, no, I did not forget how to tie a tie. Um, of course, everyone has been taught by Jason Tatum how to tie a tie. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Jeanette, ladies and gentlemen, you. Thank you. you gotta talk louder. I just want to make the point that uh, we don't actually do ties anymore. No ties for the Charlotte Hornets. It's all W's from here. Welty out.